Welcome everyone to episode number two from Mediterranean Cuisine. Today I'm going to show you how to do Lebanese food. We're going to do their traditional bread, which is basically it's a flat bread with uh, fresh thyme, olive oil and sesame seeds. And we're going to put some rock salt on top. And the second dish is going to be a tabbouleh, my version of tabbouleh. And uh, also we're going to do a dish with lamb in a flatbread and we're gonna put the tabbouleh salad, the nice summery tabbouleh salad we're gonna put on top. It's gonna to be a delight. So we're gonna go now through the ingredients and after we're gonna to start to cook and I'm gonna show you step by step how to do each single dish. These are all my ingredients for, for this uh, recipe which I'm gonna show you. We got seven different spices which we're going to use for the meat i'm going to show you each single one in the meanwhile i'm going to put them in the bowl i got here 150 grams of lamb rump which i'm going to put in this bowl i'm going to put some spicy paprika i'm not going to put it all like half spoon i got here some cumin half spoon again i got here some uh, ground coriander Tiny bit of turmeric, again half of a spoon. I got here some nutmeg, black pepper, and some cardamom, blended cardamom. I got all this, now I'm gonna put some olive oil. I'm going to give a good mix to this. And we're going to leave it on the side to marinate. Here I got rice, which I'm going to use instead of the bulgur, flour, bulgur wheat. That's why I said it's a tabbouleh salad, but with a twist. I got here the parsley fresh from my garden, two spring onions, again fresh from my garden, one lemon, two cloves of garlic, some olive oil. I got here some uh, dough for the bread, for the traditional bread and for the flat bread. It's the same dough, the same ingredients. You got the whole recipe of the dough in the description. And I got here some sesame with fresh thyme and olive oil for their traditional bread. Now we're gonna start to cook. I got here the meat which I seasoned earlier. I just wanted to show you how I'm gonna use all the spices. So uh, we're gonna marinate the meat with them. I'm gonna put half a lemon as well. I'm gonna squeeze it in. Cover it with a clean film and leave it on the side for 20, 25 minutes. Now we're gonna do the tabbouleh salad. One thing which I forgot to show you, it's tomato. I'm gonna use one very ripe tomato for this dish as well and i'm gonna show you exactly how i do it i need only one clove of garlic for this we chop finally the spring onion only the green leaves this is a very healthy and very uh, summery salad and we all know the parsley, it's very good for your heart, so it's got a lot of benefits, this salad, for your health. We chop everything nice and small. For the tomato I'm gonna take a different knife. I got this knife for the tomato. We take out the middle part, the heart. And we're gonna try to chop it as small as possible. Again, I'm gonna mention, this is not the traditional way how to do tabbouleh necessarily. 
For the traditional tabbouleh you need to use burglar, burglar flour. You need to put uh, mint as well, which I'm not gonna put. So it's my version of tabbouleh salad. Or if, if you want, it's a summery, lovely Lebanese style salad. Now the garlic, I'm just gonna finely chop it. I'm not gonna crush it. You can crush it if you prefer. I better like it like this. And mix nicely with the tomato. I got here the rice. And I'm gonna start putting the ingredients in a bowl. I wanna do the salad first because it's, uh, all the flavors will combine nicely until it's everything done. And we're gonna put the rice in. I got here one and a half spoon of rice. You can use any kind of rice you like. If you wanna do it with rice, if no, you can use the burglar wheat. Now I'm gonna put a tiny bit of salt. A bit of pepper. I'm gonna squeeze the half of the lemon which we got left. And I'm gonna put the olive oil on top. I think we need more olive oil, which we got here. And we give a good mix. You can also use couscous if you want. It's not necessary to use the rice or burglar, burglar, burglar wheat. You can also use uh, couscous. Now I'm gonna put the clean film and I'm gonna leave it on the side. So it's gonna combine all the flavors nicely. Now we're gonna start with the bread. I'm gonna start with the traditional bread with the sesame thyme and olive oil. I got here the dough, I told you earlier, you got the whole recipe of the dough all the, with all the ingredients in the description. It's a medium soft dough. Very important, I got the oven on 250 degrees, preheated. So I'm gonna take now out the tray. I'm gonna try to transfer it on the tray. So I got it on the tray, be very careful because the tray is extremely hot, it has to be hot. And now I'm gonna put the sesame with thyme and olive oil on top. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit of rock salt. And now it's going in the oven for 12 minutes. Now I'm gonna start to cook the meat. It's very important. I'm not gonna put any oil on the meat now or on the pan because I got already some oil with this, uh, when I put the spices to marinate. So I'm gonna put the meat in. And I'm gonna leave it. This is cooked in 10 minutes, it's maximum is cooked.
Now don't forget to shake the pan a little bit from time to time to don't stick and uh, we're gonna leave it for uh, five minutes and after we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna leave it another five minutes until it's fully cooked. I got here another pan where I'm gonna do the flatbread for the lamb. I'm gonna just put a knob of butter in the middle and I'm gonna leave it to melt a little bit. The dough you saw it earlier I'm not gonna leave it to fully melt and I'm gonna go with the dough in. All you need to do is make sure that the dough is as even as, even as possible. And now we put the dough in and we're just gonna leave it to cook for a few minutes. As you can see I moved the lamb on the back fire this is how it looks, it's almost, almost cooked. Now the bread is ready, so I'm gonna take it out. This is how it looks, it's just amazing. I'm gonna show you when I'm gonna break it and I'm gonna eat with the tabbouleh salad. But this is how it looks for now. It's time to turn the bread on the other side. It breaks a little bit. That's fine. Try to fix it. There you go. And now I'm gonna put some olive oil on top. And I'm just gonna leave it for another one, two minutes. Our meat, as you can see, is ready. So I'm gonna put the fire off, turn the fire off, and we're gonna wait for this to cook. And after, we're gonna do the plating. Now I'm gonna show you how we serve the lamb with the bread and with the tabbouleh. Our bread is ready, as you can see. I got here the lamb, which I'm gonna put on top. Only on one side. I got here my tabbouleh salad and we're gonna go nicely on top. Make sure you put some of the of this juice. That's extra flavor. Cut it in half. Put this on top and we go again in half. And this is how it looks. You can see it's full of juices. I'm gonna transfer it to a, a plate. I'm gonna put it to a different plate. Put this meat as well. This is how it looks. My Lebanese lamb. Now I'm gonna show you, I clean a little bit because it was a right mess. So now I'm gonna show you how it looks my Lebanese bread. This is how it is. I will show you here at the end. You see it's very fluffy inside. And not very thick. So we got this. We got our amazing lamb pita bread with tabbouleh salad so I'm gonna put here and we got our tabbouleh this was my Lebanese food 
I start like this, so I'm gonna finish like this. I hope you enjoy today's recipe. I got them here, as you can see. Nice lamb pita bread with tabule salad. Here I got the tabule. And here I got the amazing flatbread with sesame thyme and olive oil. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you didn't, give us a like, a share and I definitely see you next week with a new Mediterranean dish.